This is a model of the Michigan Avenue Bridge. The actual Michigan Avenue Bridge is in Chicago. In this model, this is a bascule bridge. A bascule bridge is, is like a drawbridge. It can be opened or closed for cars and boats. So now let me demonstrate. First off, turn it on. So, at first the bridge is closed so cars and trucks can drive across. And cars and trucks can drive across. Then, if a boat needs to go come by, then the bridge operator will, will simply open the bridge and then the boat can go through. And then many boats, and then these bridges are usually built very low, so like this boat couldn't fit, fit under the bridge, so that's why it needs to open. And then once the bridge, if the bridge closes, the cars can drive across again, and then, and then that can keep happening. I built this bridge using Arduino, so now I'll show the insides. So here, this pillar it opens up and shows a secret compartment where the Arduino is. And so, as you can see, that this is the Arduino board. If you can, the Arduino board is a small circuit board that can be programmed, and then it can also control physical things such as motors, LEDs, etc. If you want to learn about more about Arduino, look at their website. So, what I did using Arduino is I connected the Arduino to these two buttons, and then I also connected the Arduino to two servo motors, which are hidden, which are inside, which are right here under the bridge, and then those open the bridge. That's it. Let me show you how this bridge opens and closes one more time. So, I can push the open button, and it opens for both. And I can push the close button, and it closes for cars. And I can open it again. And this, and this can happen several times per day, or it can happen only a few times per week, depending on when boats need to get through. That's it.